What's up everyone, it's me, Speed Super Sonic, bringing you guys another video, and in this video today, we are talking about Sonic Movie 3 again. In this video, if you guys are familiar with the channel, and if you're not, why, why aren't you subscribed? We kind of have this, like, annual tradition now, that after Sonic Movie releases, there are all these characters that either get teased at the end of the movie, or are being speculated to be in the next movie, and those characters are one thing, we're already, like, familiar with them, but it's the idea of who is going to play them that's an in very integral part, if not the most important part, of the character outside side of its writing. You have to have a good performance, and we've been very blessed with amazing performances with Ben Schwartz, Jim Carrey, Idris Elba, Colleen O'Shaughnessy, adapting these iconic characters and really bringing them to life on the big screen. So in this video today, we're going to be talking about characters that are either already confirmed for Sonic Movie 3 or speculated characters that could very likely pop up in the third installment. But also we'll be talking about some fun characters that probably aren't going to be in Sonic Movie 3, and other just fun casting choices for these characters. It's going to be a really fun one, so strap in. But before before we hop into that, I'd like to do a little mini myself promotion segment. Recently, YouTube has given me the feature of Super Thanks. If you guys don't know what Super Thanks is, it's like a super chat and a live stream just for videos. I'm implementing a new feature into my videos to where if you do give a Super Thanks at any price whatsoever, as small as $1 all the way up to $50, not only will you get your name in the credits of the next video, but also you get an automatic reply to your question or comment, as well as a little heart, and also I'll be taking video requests with credit given. Like I said, this can be anywhere as low as one dollar all the way up to the 50 tier obviously larger ones will be prioritized so if you want to be part of that exclusive club make sure you give a super thanks be greatly appreciated but anyways let's dive into this juicy little video first we have to get the obvious ones out of the way we already have certain characters from the sonic franchise cast who have been in sonic 1 and 2. sonic the hedgehog is of course already played by ben schwartz he does an amazing job no need to recast dr eggman's a little interesting one who we're gonna spend a little bit of time on real quick obviously jim carrey plays Dr. Eggman. But the interesting thing is, Jim Carrey has said he's retiring from acting. It's not, I will not be in Sonic Movie 3, it's not this like definitive thing, but it's like a very strong chance he could retire and not be in 3. But it has been confirmed by producers that, let's say, hypothetically, Jim Carrey does retire and does not return for Sonic Movie 3, they would not recast the character and they would just move on with a new villain. And thankfully, that villain has already been set up, so we'll be talking about him later. Tails is played by Colleen O'Shaughnessy. I don't see them doing that recast either. She did a great job job voicing the character and she was pretty cheap on billing so it wouldn't bring the budget up at all and also be really dumb for continuity and bring your price tag up to get a bigger celebrity. Colleen is Tails now so that's what it is. And Idris Elba is our Knuckles and it's already been confirmed that he not only is going to be in future installments but also he has his own TV show coming so we have plenty of Idris Elba Knuckles to look forward to. But now we're getting into the interesting part and that is the characters we don't have cast members for yet. Obviously where we're going to start off is with the character we're all here for for, and that is Shadow the Hedgehog. There's been a lot of conversation, actually, on Twitter. I've gotten into some Twitter discourse about this. We want to know who's going to be playing Shadow, and it's going to be a bit until we find out that information. I could see that being announced maybe towards either the very end of this year or early next year. It depends on when they get production started on this thing. So we'll probably have to wait a bit to get some casting information on Shadow confirmed, but there's always time to speculate. I've been hearing a big campaign for Jason Griffith, and when I say the people I'm going to cast, or I say I don't think this person is going to get cast that's not me saying that you can't push for that or not be excited for that because you guys can want whatever you want it's a free world kind of it's actually not america's free and as an american i give you the pass to think freely there's been a big push for jason griffith to return to shadow in fact jason griffith actually trended on twitter because sonic fans are pushing for it so much the unfortunate thing is i just don't see that happening i think colleen was an exception to a rule colleen already voiced tales in the end credit scene of sonic movie one she currently voices tales in games and shows and she's been voicing the character for a very long time now. Jason Griffith hasn't officially voiced Shadow since 2009. That's a very long time ago. That's almost 15 years. I'm not saying Jason Griffith would do a bad job or that I don't like Jason Griffith because he's my favorite Shadow personally. Just like Knuckles, this is like your big marketed character, newcomer for the movie. They are going to get somebody big. That's just a fact. It's I'm sorry, but it's just not going to happen. And a lot of people, I think, have figured this and know this. So they're asking, what celebrities would you like to be casted in the role of of Shadow. The top two names that have been thrown around are Keanu Reeves and Robert Pattinson. Both have played very gritty characters. They have a deepness and raspiness to their voice, a darker tone and presence to their performances and the work that they've done. Keanu doing stuff like John Wick and Robert Pattinson obviously being
being Batman, like the darkest character. Those have been popular fan casts, and I love both of those choices, honestly. I kind of wanted to veer away from like the generic pick. I, I don't like to like fall in line with the public consensus. I think it's kind of lame. I like to bring new things to the table, but I like those choices a lot. I think it'd be dumb just to choose a different one just because I want to do something different. So for all those worried that I was going to push uh, Tom Holland to shadow, can rest now that that campaign's dead. I'm, I'm not going to put you guys through that again. So if I'm choosing one, I'm going to do it with the likelihood and also the best fit. And even though I think Robert Pattinson would fit kind of better, I don't think he will do the movie. Robert Pattinson is very selective in the movies that he does, either very art house movies or obviously Batman is kind of the highest you can go in terms of a big budget character. So I'm saying it's impossible because Idris Elba is a giant actor and he did take on Knuckles, but don't see that as likely. However, this might come as a surprise, I see Keanu is kind of likely. I think if Paramount genuinely wants him, they could get him. Why is this? Well, because Keanu has worked with Paramount recently on another kids movie, that last Spongebob movie, Sponge on the Run. Yeah, he actually had a significant role in that, not too significant, it wasn't like he voiced Spongebob or Patrick, oh my god, that would've been crazy. But it's not like Keanu's this high and mighty guy who's like, I'm not going to do your silly kids movies. And it's not like he does the best movies ever. John Wick is good though. I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility to get Keanu Reeves in a Sonic movie as Shadow the Hedgehog, especially with a character that's probably going to be as well written and as great as Shadow is. He'd be surrounded with a great cast of already so much great talent. I don't think it would be that hard. I don't think it's that unlikely. We'll obviously have to wait and see. They could find a better choice. But yeah, I'm gonna stick with that. I think Keanu Reeves would make a great shadow and I think he is more likely than Robert Pattinson is. Even if I do think Robert Pattinson would be slightly more fitting. Okay, so I know I rambled on a little bit about Shadow. He is kind of the main character of the next movie, but we're going to get into the character often most associated with Shadow and does have a chance of popping up in this next movie, and that is Rouge. Paramount in the Sonic movie franchise is kind of in a weird place right now when it comes to female characters. You're now going on to your third movie. You've already introduced Knuckles and Tails and Sonic and Eggman are already in the first movie. And then you got Tom on top of that, who's kind of the main male human character, and Tika Sumter and Natasha Rothwell, although they did get larger roles in the second movie, still aren't as big as Tom's character is in terms of importance to Sonic. Not just that, but there also aren't any female Sonic characters in the movies yet, and I don't think there would be massive backlash if there wasn't Rouge or Amy or anybody in the next movie. But I do think you would kind of start to hear the question of, okay, when are we going to get a female character? It's kind of a sausage party. Well, if there's any time to introduce a female character, it is now with Rouge. Whether they will do that or not, once again, we're not sure. Shadow's the only character we have confirmed right now, but in other Sonic media, Rouge is often tied to Shadow almost all the time. Rouge is a very spicy, <laughs> oftentimes badass character, even if she hasn't had that well-developed of an arc in some of these games, I think a movie is a great way to give her that best Rouge character in any form of media. Part of that is giving her a good actress. Now there are a handful of awesome female actresses out there, and I'm going to kind of give a cop-out answer here only because one of my dearest friends hates Zendaya, so I'm going to do this just to spite them, even though they're probably not going to watch this video. I'm going to ca cast Zendaya as, as Ruse, just uh, because I really like Zendaya, and I'd like if she would leave Tom Holland for me. Great actress, has that great Druge tone. This probably not gonna happen, so throw a realistic out the window. She's very expensive now. So yeah, I'm just gonna cast her as Rouge. All right, but let's move on to another female character, and this one isn't quite as likely because you'd be cramming way too much into a third movie, and she doesn't really fit into Shadow's story as much as Rouge does, or these other characters do. It's not necessary to have her make that change for Shadow. Whether we will see her or not, once again, like a lot of this, we are in the very early stages of what will happen in Sonic Movie 3. So we'll have to wait and see. This is not as likely. Maybe this could happen in 4. Maybe this could happen in a spin-off series. But Amy is one of, and not pro no, she's the most popular female character in the Sonic franchise. Before it was confirmed that Shadow will be the main focal point of Sonic 3, there was a big conversation around having her and Metal Sonic kind of be the third movie's big characters. We know now that 
that's going to be Shadow, but who could play Amy? And there is a very popular fan cast actually around Amy. I've been seeing Anna Kendrick's name thrown around when it comes to who could voice Amy. I'm not sure why this is. This has been a thing ever since like the first Sonic movie came out and there's been Amy fan casting. Like this has been a very popular fan cast in the community for a while for her. And I've actually seen a lot of her work, a bit too much of her work. Funny enough, I actually haven't seen Pitch Perfect. I've like seen just every other thing that she's done. And honestly, this is another time with the Sonic fan base when it comes to fan casting where I don't oppose the choice. I think she would do a great job as Amy. She honestly sounds like what Amy would sound like if it wasn't a voice actress doing an overly exaggerated version of her voice. It's just her voice and it works and it's tame but she also has a wit and charisma to her. So Sonic fan base who's pushing for her, I'm actually with you. I would go with Anna Kendrick as Amy. And then uh, we're just gonna toss out one character that most definitely won't be in 3 but could potentially if a Sonic 4 happens or a Sonic 5. I think this character could happen and that is Silver. Silver is another very popular Sonic character. He's another hedgehog. I think there's a lot of story potential with Silver. Would it overcomplicate the universe? Maybe and you do run a risk of having a lot of continuity errors and a very messy story but we'll see if they choose to do that or not. Let's cast Silver. You thought we were done. Just because I didn't cast him as Shadow and that Tails campaign didn't work doesn't mean it's the end of the arc. I am doing it. He's back. I'm casting Tom Holland as Silver. And with that, those are a few of those Sonic movie characters that I am casting today. I'm not going through like every Sonic character to exist. I thought just some of the characters we could see later down the line in Sonic the Hedgehog movies. So we got Keanu, we got Zendaya, we got Anna Kendrick, and we got Tom Holland. Will any of these come true? Probably not. But like with you and your Jason Griffith fan cast, there's always time to dream. So with that being said, let me know what you think of these fan casts. Would you like to see any of these actors cast as these characters? But most importantly, I'd like to know what you guys have to say and who you would like to cast as these characters in the comment section down below. Feel free to follow my social media, links to my Twitter and Instagram are in the description below. You can follow those behind the scenes, look at my life, future content, and all things Sonic the Hedgehog. But most importantly, if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. This is the number one destination on YouTube for all things Sonic, whether it's video games, TV shows, movies, comic books, merchandise, and more, we talk about it all. Once again, if you want to hit that thanks button to support the channel and get your name at the end credits. And with all that being said, I love you all so much. You guys are the best, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out. Woo!